Welcome to Animal's House, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to do a quick demonstration of some of the best practices I've found with using a compact tractor bucket uh, on a front end of a tractor. I've got a 3039R John Deere tractor with a 320 loader, and we're gonna move some dirt. Here we go. So here's the things I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to talk about the concept of having that bucket be in the right position and to help you glide across a surface versus cutting into a surface. And then we're also gonna talk about some of the tools the tractor uh, loader actually has for you to help you with knowing the tilt of your bucket. I'm also gonna talk about kind of the hydraulic controls. And then um, we're gonna talk about back dragging we're gonna also get into a pile and talk about loading. And uh, we're gonna hopefully help you learn a little bit if you're a beginner about how to use a front end loader on a compact tractor. All right, so here's the first thing you gotta understand. This is the leading edge of the bucket, okay? I've got the heavy duty bucket for this loader, but basically every bucket is gonna have a leading edge or a front cutting edge. That is going to do a decent amount of the work, but your tractor doesn't have the power to just rip virgin soil up the way like a bulldozer does or a big excavator does. So you gotta kind of keep that in mind. You need to use this as a tool and understand its limits. So if you look at this bucket, it is engineered with like a 12 inch section from here to here that's completely flat and straight. And that's on purpose. So uh, if you tilt that down too far, you're gonna to wanna to cut into the pile and you'll cut for maybe six inches, but then all of a sudden your machine's gonna stop because it takes too much power. So it, what you wanna do is you wanna kinda of evenly uh, trim the surface with whatever you're picking up. In some cases you're excavating and you're cutting, other cases you're just picking up gravel, dirt, sand, mulch, whatever it is that you're working on. But you gotta be careful not to cut so this this platform right here is an important thing to understand as part of your machine. Uh, another thing is you wanna realize uh, that pushing forward uh, and having this leading edge push material is going to then fill your bucket. You gotta understand, like, you can't see it when you're sitting on the cab. And so basically you gotta kinda understand that all you gotta do is push up a little pile in front and then it's going to fill the back of the bucket. Okay, another thing I wanna show you if you come over here is um, your, your bucket has to try to stay level, otherwise you're going to cut, all right? If, if your best case scenario is to have your, your whole bucket be as level as can be. What makes it level? It's the four tires of the tractor. So if you're trying to prepare a surface or even just pick stuff up on a surface, but your tires are on an uneven ground, it's going to adjust the tilt of your bucket as far as like this way. And it's gonna like, you're gonna dig little holes, okay? And then once you dig a little hole, then the, after four feet, your front tire goes into the hole, drops it more, makes it worse. So that's why if you're a beginner, it can become pretty clumsy when you're sitting up on the operator's seat when if you don't really know what the heck you're doing here. So uh, let's just show a tool real quick that you can use to make sure your bucket is tilted properly. So this right here, okay, this is attached and it's adjusted usually when you buy a tractor new, but you can adjust it if you want. You just got a little set screw here. This essentially just tells you what level your bucket is tilted at. So uh, right here, the way I have this set, when it's right in this crest right here, that's pretty much exactly level. And essentially it's just a baseline for me. So if I go like this, I know I'm not sitting in that crest. I know that my 12 inch section here and my leading edge is tilted down. And then if I come up like this, I'm a little bit past, okay? So now I know I will definitely not be cutting. I will be riding on the palm, kind of like uh, some of those shoes that have wheels in the heels, okay? so. Kind of like that, where you're, you're putting your toe up and, and you're just pushing around. So, um, you know, this is my guide because, again, when I'm sitting in the seat, I cannot see what's going on with the bucket. But once you get enough experience, you can get a feel for how everything's behaving and you can, you can become a pro at it. So I'm going to get on the tractor real, real quick here. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push up a pile. So first of all, always in four wheel drive, always in low range for me anyway. So what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna go straight towards the camera and I'm gonna try to push up a little pile. I am dealing with really loose soil. I was working this up with a spring tooth and I've got really loose soil. Essentially what I wanna do with, in this situation is pick up some dirt from the high areas and fill in the low areas. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself perfectly level. I'm going to get down. Okay, I already know my four tires are on a pretty level surface. And when I set down, I'm watching this. Okay, as soon as I set down, there's a reaction right here that tells me that the weight is transferring. So if the weight's transferring back here, I know the bucket touched the floor or touched the ground up there, okay? So usually what I'll do is I'll just watch for that. So I'm, I'm, I'm airborne here, I'm paying attention here. Right there, I just saw it react. So now if I push forward a little bit, I'm believing that I'm taking a little dirt here, okay? So I'm looking in front of my tires to see if I'm taking anything and it looks like I am, all right? So now if I'm comfortable with that amount, it's good. I felt a little force. I think I'm just gonna raise up just a little bit because now my front tires just went down a little bit and I believe I should be filling that bucket, okay? So uh, I can kind of listen for the tractor. Now I'm digging a little much, so I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna listen for the tractor. I can tell it's under a little more work right now and now I can see the material from here. And so I'm just gonna tip up and now I'm good to go. Okay, so now we look at that and we look at the surface that we left. The surface that we left is straight. So now if I go in and I take my, tech, my next bucket load, it's gonna be just as easy because I'm not doing this. Right, so it's important to understand you gotta have a good base for your tractor, otherwise you're gonna dig. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demonstrate how this can kind of get screwed up. So I'm just gonna leave an uneven base here and I'm gonna level my bucket and I'm gonna get on here. Now I'm gonna go down and uh, shoot. Okay, now look what I did. All right, I just, I just dug a hole, okay? So you can see how I dug a hole on the left side. That's because my bucket wasn't straight. I can't have that, all right? If you're trying to dig holes, that's fine. But, you know, when I go and I'm trying to push my next bucket here and my left front tire goes in that hole, it's gonna dig a new hole, all right? So it is absolutely critical that you understand that your platform affects your bucket okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to level that off so i'm going to try to find myself a good base i'm going to get down i'm going to start i'm going to get a, just a little bit here i'm going to go and i'm going to make a little pile i can tell i'm pushing because i can hear the machine okay and now i'm going forward i'm going to lift up i'm going to drop that Okay, and then I'm just gonna back drag back. I'm gonna try to give myself a good level surface to work on. And now when I go through, I might have to do that a couple times, but now when I go through again and get after it, I'm gonna tip it back, I'm going down. Okay, I just felt it. I'm not tipped very much. I shouldn't be cutting. I feel level. Now I should be starting to pick up a little bit. Okay, now I should be filling and boom. Okay, there I go. Okay, so now I've got myself a good bucket load. I'm on a flat surface. Okay, I can drop that off and wherever I'm going. And now when I get into my next one, I'm on a nice flat surface and I just keep working forward. And you really gotta just kind of get in tune with what your machine is telling you as far as, um, you know, what's your machine saying is, 
is this, these arms here, are they moving? If they're not moving, you're probably airborne with your bucket. If th these things change, now you know your bucket is being supported by the ground and not by the machine. And then you can kind of listen for the transmission. Uh, I don't really like to go full power when I'm, you know, when I'm moving dirt. I like to kind of feel when the tractor's under load, when the transmission's under load, because that tells me what forces are going on with the bucket up there. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take a little time to back drag. So sometimes you gotta fill some holes or otherwise, you know, try to help yourself get to a level surface. So <clears throat> I mentioned earlier, one of the things you can do is go pick up some dirt or push it in front of you is, would be even better. But then let's say I've got some holes here I'm trying to fill. I wanna build a little pile, get on the, and then get like this, but the key is, is I'm kind of flat right now because I just made a semi-flat surface for myself. So now I can get in there. The bucket works better to back drag when you're like this, as far as pulling a big pile. If you're just trying to smooth, I'll show you that after this, but I got a big pile to move. So if I want to let a little material go, well right now I got, I'm plenty high, but Okay, yeah, that's looking real good. But if I want to let a little more material go, then I'm just going to take a quick little hit to raise this and wait. And, you know, and then I'm going to have more material that's going to fall down. And if I'm trying to dig more, then obviously I'm going to uh, push down more. And I, I had it pretty right there. So now let's just say I want to smooth. Um, I'm going to put my bucket level and I'm just going to go down like this and I can actually put a little bit of weight down. I mean, you can lift the front end of your tractor up if you want to. Uh, I mean, you really don't need to, but essentially I'm, maybe I'll just go straight here, I'll drop it, and I'll just go with a nice smooth back drag, and that might be a good option for you too if you're just trying to like smooth a couple, of, let's say you got a couple rows up, um, baby rows, and you just want to smooth them out. That's about all you need to do. So, all right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so now we're, we're looking to dump our load on the pile here. So first of all, with your controls, um, you can go up and down exclusively and then tilt. Okay, but the controls will obviously work at the same time, but they'll usually slow down because you have the same amount of hydraulic flow that's split two ways. So if I go up and down exclusively, it goes about that fast. But if I'm going up and turning, it kind of slows down. But when I'm approaching the pile as I'm moving, I'm usually doing multiple things at one time. So I'm approaching the pile, I'm lifting, I'm starting to turn. And then as soon as I get myself up a little bit, then now I got that drop down. Okay, so now if you're going into a pile, all right, let's say you got mulch. You got gravel, you got sand, you got topsoil. You're trying to clean that pile up. Uh, usually what I'll do, make sure I get on a level surface. I'll take my bucket and I'll be perfectly level and then I'll just go one click up because I don't want to dig if I'm picking up mulch on grass or something. And so like find my base, I found my baseline and then one quick tap. Okay, then I'm going to get down until I watch this. Okay, I saw that, but again, I don't want to dig, so I'm, I'm just going to go do one little quick click. So I, right there it moved, and then I'm just going to go up one time, and now I'm going to get into the pile. As soon as I get into the pile, now I'm about halfway in. I can hear the transmission working a little bit, so I know I'm, I know I'm in a little bit. There's no sense in wrecking your machine, working it too hard. I'm just going to tilt up a little bit, and I'm going to keep forcing in, and then I'm gonna lift up, and then I got a full bucket right there. If you wanna sh uh, shimmy it a little bit, shake it, you can do that. If you wanna dump a little off so that when you're traveling you don't lose it, you're good. And then generally you wanna carry your load low, and generally you wanna have some kind of ballast behind you. I just had my three-point spring tooth on here, so I don't have a ballast behind me, plus topsoil is a little lighter. But if you're carrying stones, if you're carrying gravel, sand, you should have something behind here. 
so that if you have to stop suddenly, you don't tip. But basically, that's it. Uh, you know, we're, if you want to go into the pile a little higher up, that's another idea. And with that, you're basically just going to go in here, get in a little, tip, and you know, now you're good. If you want to like only get a half a bucket, then you're just going to go into the side of the pile like this and you're going to get a half a bucket, tip it. Now I only got a half a bucket on the left side. You can do it on the right or whatever you want it. Okay. So, um, a lot of this stuff when it comes to operation, it's all about practice. Okay, if you get a couple concepts down, it is all just about practice. And once you get the concepts and you know what you're supposed to be looking for, as far as like your goal is to be flat, your goal is to you know move that bucket as you're entering the pile. Once you get some of those concepts, before you know it, you're doing all that stuff at one time and you look like an experienced operator. I by no means am a professional, uh, but I know how to work what I've got, okay? and you start slow, learn a couple basic concepts, you can do it without any problem. So guys, I hope you liked the episode today. Uh, if you like it, please click for me. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click subscribe or ring that bell. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode of The Animal's House.